Hey guys, so my name's Elizabeth, nice to meet you. I just started this YouTube channel called Bay Zoologist, and on this channel I'm going to explore my passion for zoology, wildlife biology, veterinary, conservation, animal sanctuary, animal rescue, all of that. I am actually aspiring to become a wildlife veterinarian, and so this is going to be a little bit of my journey and just fun things, you know, adventures. I went to the Palm Beach Zoo and Conservation Society, and I really, really enjoyed it. I got a koala experience, and I got to see behind the scenes, so you'll see a little of that, and just all the different animals there. It was really worth it, and it was really awesome to speak with zoologists and, uh, that I dream of doing, so it's really cool to see. So much uh, fun, so I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get to it. Koala Australia. And with that comes a very long set of rules and regulations that we have to follow in addition to our ADA rules and regulations that we get. Part of that is because the koalas are such a specialized animal. Relationship with Australia to do. One of our past curators had that. She worked in Australia for a little bit, had that great relationship with them. So that's how we were able to get special permission to do our koala encounters. So we do have two koalas here. So we have a male named Sydney and a female named Ellen. Ellen is about three years old and Sydney is about five years old. What is the lifespan of koalas? Uh, usually around 15 years. 15? Yeah, they do have a lot of really common health problems like uh, hip dysplasia is the most common health okay. problem in koalas. Because if you think about how they're sitting on those trees, it really makes them prone to that hip dysplasia. Wow. Is there a difference between like their lifespan in captivity or in the wild? Uh, usually they do get a uh, longer lifespan in captivity just because uh, we can give them that one-on-one -on -one oh, vet care yeah. that they would not be getting out. Okay.
about the size of my pinky nail right here. Really? Yep. Wow. So what the female will do is she will lick a slime trail from her birth canal up to her pouch. And whenever she goes birth, that baby will crawl up into her pouch and will do the majority of its development in that pouch. So as keepers, what we'd be looking for is that slime trail because there's a very low chance that we'd have to see yeah. uh, the joey going up into that pouch. Wow. I have so much more in store. If you guys want to subscribe or follow me on my Instagram, it'll be down below. Thank you guys so much, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.